Hi guys, I'm a Forester here with another knife review. Now today I'm drinking this coffee right here. This is made by Hunt's Perfect Roast. And here's the website where you can go to order some for yourself. And I believe this is their most popular blend. It's called, of course, the Perfect Blend. Should be their most popular. But this is a medium dark roast and I really enjoy it. It uh, fits the bill for me. Today, though, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this knife right here. This is the SOG Sideswipe. Now, I call it a rugged EDC knife, and just from its looks, I don't think I have to defend that. Now, this knife was donated to me by That's Paps Knife 63, and it's my very first SOG. I believe the very first knife review that I ever watched on YouTube was by Nut and Fancy, and I think it was a SOG Flash 2. He made me want that knife, but you know what? I never bought one. I didn't buy the Flash 2 or the Aegis or any other SOG that he reviewed, mainly because SOG's designs just don't speak to me. I think they tend to look busy, but I do appreciate this gift of the side swipe, and let's get going with the review. Now when I review a knife, I try to start with its most obvious traits, and in the side swipes case, it's this faux tactical look and the assisted opening mechanism. Now this has to be the most heavily gimped knife that I own. It's on the back of the blade right here, on the lock back mechanism, on both sides of the handle scale on this GRN insert, and it's completely under the bottom of the handle. You can get a good look at that right there. It's definitely secure in my hand, but the thing is that's just not necessary. To me, this is an EDC knife, not a self-defense knife. So all the jimping is more for looks than practicality. The second most obvious thing about the knife is SOG's assisted opening feature. The blade comes out pretty fast and it's fairly consistent now that I've worked on it. Now I'm not a big fan of assisted opening knives. In general, I think it's just something else to break and I much prefer a good manual opening knife. With assisted opening, you don't have any other choice and it's just not appropriate for some situations. So let me go over some of the less obvious features of the knife and I'll start with the blade. Now, other than the name, which is right there, SOG Sideswipe, there's no other markings on the blade at all, nothing on this side. They don't tell you that it's made in China, and they don't tell you that the blade steel is 7CR15 stainless steel. The cutting edge is 3.4 inches long, and the overall blade shape is what I would call a harpoon type shape. It's not that sharp right now, and I'm not going to do a paper cutting test for that reason, but I'm sure I could easily touch up this blade, which is a, you might be able to tell, a slight recurved blade. Now, the overall weight of the knife is three and a half ounces, which I would call a medium weight. It's not overly heavy, but that weight is due primarily to the anodized aluminum handle. I like the clip in particular. On this knife, it's a very deep carry clip, maybe the deepest carry clip of any that I own. And you can mount it on either side. There's a screw right there to where you can switch it over and mount it on either side, but it is for tip up carry only. Now, one thing I want to point out is it has a locking mechanism right there. So you can slide that forward and you can't deploy the blade. Now you can lock it either shut or open, either way. But for me, I don't use that locking mechanism at all. So what do I like and what don't I like about the SOG side swipe? Let's go over the pros first. It's a relatively inexpensive knife at around $30, so it should be affordable for just about everybody. I particularly like the deep carry clip. It's rugged enough to handle any task that I put it to. And SOG has a lifetime warranty on the knife, so if you have any problems, they'll take care of it. The cons, though, the overall faux tactical look just doesn't appeal to me. 
Now that's a personal thing and you may disagree. This may be exactly what appeals to you and that's okay. There are some quality issues that I haven't mentioned so far. One is that the back lock right here sticks and sometimes doesn't fully pop out. The other thing is that the assisted opening was not smooth when I first got it. I had to work with it and uh, lubricate it and now it works smoothly. And if I didn't mention it already, the thumb studs are huge. They're the most obvious thing I feel when I hold it in my hand. Let me put down a comparison knife that fits the same rugged EDC niche in my collection and it's the Kershaw Emerson CQC6. Now they're similar in size although the Emerson is much heavier. The Emerson has a manual opening but it can be deployed automatically using that wave feature. And I like the clean look of the Kershaw more so than the SOG. So there you have it the SOG Sideswipe. It isn't exactly my cup of tea, but it might be yours. I'll put a link to the knife on Amazon below, and y'all take care.